right, Ashley. So, thank you so much. This is such a fluid situation. As we're waking up this Friday morning, you're wondering what's going on. Well, starting at 11 o'clock last night, Huntsville City Crews began removing that longtime Confederate statue that was located right at the steps of Madison County Courthouse. Our own Will Robinson Smith has been there all evening, up and through the morning. Will, what can you tell us right now? Yeah, Pat, you mentioned it was on the steps of the Madison County Courthouse right thereabouts. We're on the steps right now. Very different sight this morning, as you can see behind me. What used to be a statue that reached up about to just beyond the shrubs next to the courthouse landing, that's all gone. There's just a uh, concrete slab that remains here at the courthouse at this point. It's something that protesters throughout the summer have been pushing for and calling for. And tonight, early this morning, really, was the realization of a long sought victory. Now, moving the monument is something that various groups like the Rosa Parks Day Committee and Black Lives Matter have been pushing for for city leaders to do throughout the summer and into the fall and some years before that. Now, I spoke with dozens of folks out here as they started the removal process. One of the folk, people I talked to said he really thought that what helped push leaders to move the monument was a consistent and continuous call from the community. When we look at the tenacity, the, the perseverance, and then truth, and then history itself, and how it has always prevailed, justice, then at some point, I think leadership in this city was like, we've got to do something. We've got to be better. This is a better Huntsville for everybody. Now, I asked Pastor Fred Whitlow if he could sum up what the monument removal meant to him in a word or a phrase. He said, quote, grateful and blessed. And that was something that was echoed by several people out here this morning as they watched the monument be taken down piece by piece, loaded up onto a truck, and heading out toward where my colleague um, Ashley Carter is right now at Maple Hill Cemetery. One of the lieutenants with Huntsville Police who we spoke with out here said they hope to have the statue re erected at the cemetery by noon today. That's the timeline that they're working on. He said, though, it's been a learning process because the statue has been here for so long, they didn't have a blueprint for how to take it apart or put it back together. So they're learning as they go with this historic. Move. Reporting live in downtown Huntsville, Will Robinson Smith, Way 31 News. Hey, we're